bags are, are getting so many. Simply buy them and throw them away. All right, so I'm here at the Marine and Fishery Research Institute in Kenya, Mombasa. And I'm here because we want to show you why we actually choose this country to be part of the Ecofluencer project. Kenya is uh, far ahead of Germany and other European countries what's uh, regarding the fight against plastic. And I have here someone who did a research about plastic bags and the plastic bag ban which was introduced 2017 to Kenya. My name is Charles Mito, a research scientist at Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute in Mombasa. I work on uh, microplastics and at the same time I've been working on uh, the impact of uh, re recent uh, plastic bags ban in Kenya. The initiative was the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Environment. That was a drastic decision uh, actually because there was environmental de de degradation. You found plastic litter all over uh, in major cities and therefore the government has to, has to take action. What we have found out so far in our research is that uh, there is a tremendous reduction of the single-use plastic bags. But at the same time, we have seen the increase of other plastic types like uh, water bottles uh, together with their tops. We have also seen uh, other things coming up like the diapers that are used by, by the children. We have also seen uh, other things like the non-woven bags that have been introduced uh, to replace the carrier bags. I mean, the bags that were introduced after the single-use carrier bags uh, were the non-woven bags. But then uh, people have turned them into the single-use type that they throw after use and therefore they are getting a we are getting a lot of them in the environment again just as we used to see with the single use plastic bags they still pollute the environment and the government of Kenya has taken another yet another drastic step to ban the non-woven plastic bags The ban uh, may not be the, 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 the real um, solution, but then we need a change behavior. People need to be aware of the best practices in wage, waste management. And this can begin from the source. The source is the best place to start managing the waste that we have in the environment. Well, this can be done through uh, stakeholder engagements, engaging all the community, engaging the people that are producing uh, plastics, engaging uh, uh, people right from their kitchens and all over in the country, creating awareness that plastic is a real problem to the environment. I believe that with behavior change, where waste is managed from the source, then we are heading somewhere to control the plastic pollution. We've got you a little present, a bracelet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Bracelet buddies! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>